Hey everyone, we'll wait for a few minutes and see if we can get a few more people to join us. Oh yay, I figured it out so I can stand. That's so much easier. So I'm just gonna bustle around for a few minutes until we get a few more people on here. Um, these are the designs that we're gonna be pressing tonight. So trick or treat and this trick or treat one. I have a cute little niece that wanted a trick or treat bag. so. That is what we're doing tonight. There's a lot of really fun things coming up. Um, next week, I'm going to do a tutorial on the... Oh, I look so old. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial on the mobiles that, that Elizabeth Bands have has um, in her shop. And so that will be fun. Um, so plan that. What I would like to do is get to the point where we're doing um, a live every, we're gonna shoot for every Tuesday. Um, and that will be our Talk About It Tuesday in the group. So, we'll see if we get a few more on. but I don't wanna make those of you that are here wait. So let's kind of get started at least talking about some of this. There's a couple things I wanted to show you tonight. Um, one of the things I discovered today, um, I was going to do an all over print and, and I did it. Um, I'm a little bit picky and sometimes these bags, just like, just like shirts, if you're doing an all over shirt, and you don't get it completely straight, then you're gonna have places where your print doesn't doesn't touch the fabric. For instance, so here's my all over bag that I did. And these are 15 by 17 inch bags, I believe. But you can see where, and I even took an iron to this um, prior to pressing it, trying to get the creases out and it's pretty hard in these bags, but um, still came out great. They sub great, the color's beautiful. Um, I got these from Single J's quite a while ago, but I know she still has them and they really do, they're strong. That's the thing that I've been surprised at with these is that they are 
really strong, heavy duty bags. Um, so I like that. As with all things, um, it's a learning curve. So that was my first attempt at all over um, with a bag like this. My sister really wanted a really wanted a black bag and of course with sublimation that makes it hard. I think you could do it and it would look great, um, but you would just have to try to iron out some of these little things. So that's how that looks. And another thing I wanted to point out, because I've done sublimation now for about three years, four years, four years, and I'm still learning. I learn something new every time. So today, my printer had disconnected from my computer, and um, so it had defaulted to what the old printer settings used to be, and so I wanted to show you the difference. So if you look at this, it's not super it's not super black. It's pretty faded looking, which isn't uncommon with um sublimation. You get the magic once it gets a, gets the heat added to it. However, this was with standard quality. This is when I changed my settings to high quality. So if you look, the black is much much deeper on the print yes Lindsay and thank you for joining it sure is um, but look at the difference here that's a pretty big difference between those two so slowing down your um, slowing down your print to the quality print you're gonna get lots better products lots lots better printing and therefore lots better um, lots more ink to transfer over to your product so just uh, something that I learned today, or I knew, but I just hadn't seen it so, maybe so um, vividly displayed as it was um, once I got the, uh, once I saw the two prints right next to each other. So again, this is, and I wish I had printed one with the other one. Maybe we can do that real quick while we're waiting. So I'm just gonna, and this is my total mess up piece. So I'm just gonna print it on the back of this one so you can see the difference in the blacks. So we're gonna go ahead and head on over to the press. And I've already, like I said, I've been playing around with this, trying to get this done for my niece. So I use this paper, it is, 12 or 24 by 24 it comes in a pack um, I think there's three two to three hundred sheets in a pack and you can get it at Walmart they're pre cut you definitely don't have to use that but you do want blowout paper to protect your platen and protect your mat underneath so this is just gonna be a throwaway bag but I do want to see the difference in the blacks based on the color of the print But always a good you're always gonna get better printing quality a lot of times you um, you'll see you've probably seen it in your own prints but you also will see with um, you will see it in groups I see it all the time in groups people asking about the lines through the prints and a lot of times that has to do specifically with the speed of the printing and um, so a lot of times if you slow that print down you're going to get much better results and you're not going to get those lines through it and on some of your substrates like i've noticed with the unisub particularly they absolutely will pick up any of your hard substrates will pick up those lines um, your soft substrates like the mats are a little more forgiving of that depending on what the weave is like of that substrate So this is my black. 
don't see a whole ton of difference. Maybe a little bit darker on this side. This is the black that had the, the slower printing. I had adjusted my quality of print to, to high quality, which slows down how fast it prints. But I think there is a little bit of difference in, I'm trying to get close so they can see. They can see, it's not, <laughs> getting closer isn't gonna help that. So anyway, that's, yeah, under the light, you can definitely see a difference in the color of the black. So that's just based on the print, the speed. So we'll go ahead and get started with the actual tutorial now that a few people have joined. And we're, we'll hope that as we make this more of a Tuesday tradition, that we'll be able to get more and more people to join. So, like I said, with these, I would, and I did that before to save time, but I would take a, take a regular iron to them just to try to flatten out some of these. They, they get these when they ship and they're, they're crunched together um, to try to get as much of that out as you can. Then with these, the other thing is you're going to want a liner on the inside. So I just took one of those sheets that I just showed you folded it in half and we'll stick it on the inside. It's just kind of like a shirt. You will get transfer of, particularly if it's dark ink, it will come through to the back. And then if you have, like for instance, on this bag, um, you can actually see on the bat that it didn't, because it was a throwaway bag, I didn't take the time to, to um, get the, put the liner in and you can actually see on the bat, it did transfer through a little bit. So you will want to make sure that you have a liner and then we'll move over to the press. The other thing is, if you look at this, so that's the, the ink from the other side. You always want to do a new, a new um, blowout sheet. And then one on top. And I am just going to preheat this for a couple seconds. And then I do like to know if any of you do I don't know how many of you I should say do vinyl as well um, but for any of you that do there is a fantastic group it is silhouette school and she does she actually is getting a little bit more into sublimation type stuff but one of the things when I very first started it has always been hard for me to find center of objects and so she, su she suggested that with your designs, you just make a little crinkle so that you can see where the center is. So we've pre-pressed our, let me, I'm gonna do it this way. So then you can kind of see where your center mark is, and that will help you make sure that it's centered. And I've got pretty firm pressure on these. Um, but you don't, you also don't need to put so much pressure that you can barely shut the, shut the press, but just enough pressure. You, you want pretty firm pressure on them. I'm doing 385. Um, I know with the instructions that came with the bag, they said 400. However, like we've talked about in previous tutorials, I know that this press runs a little bit hotter, so I always do 385 instead of 400 for that reason. Let's see. So we've got a few people on. Hi, Linda. Thank you for joining. Hope you guys' day have been, has been going amazing. Um, are you getting ready for the 
Halloween festivities. We've got just a couple seconds left on this. You're doing that at 385 for how long? For 60 seconds. I did these. I, I didn't get them out in time to do them for Halloween this year, but I did do them for Easter. And they did really, really well. They were a big seller for Easter. Okay, you guys, so one thing that I neglected to do, and you can see it right here, I didn't lint roll it. So you can see that you get little fuzzies if you don't if you don't lint roll it first. But otherwise, it did it did great. And this file, the two files, so we're gonna do two of them, and both of those files will be um, given to any of you that are watching for free. So if you would please comment, so I know that you were here for the live, and um, I talked about this last time. So I follow a few people that have been very instrumental to me in helping me grow and help me grow my group, as well as kind of being mentors to me. Um, one of those is Nikki from the Sassy Suburb. And one thing she does in her group that I... Is that the same one you did or no? Yes, because I'm doing the back of it. Oh, okay, that's not the one. You... So I do um, both sides. When I'm doing a... When I'm doing a bag, I, I do prefer to do both sides. And this this design, for this, for this particular one, um, I didn't do a name, but you could shrink the design and put a name either on the top or the bottom. Very easy. So that they can be customized. And I don't know, Lindsay, can you tell me, are there any, I know canvas bag, I know canvas isn't polyester, however, do you know of any of these type totes that are more of a canvas, a thicker material that are available for subbing? I'm just looking to see. These, um... But like I said, these are very sturdy. I was very surprised. I put a bunch of books in one one day and it, it held them just fine. I was worried it was gonna tear out and it didn't. Uh, so I've been very impressed. Like I said, I got these from Single J's. It's been a bit. They ran a sell, the first year that I did sublimation, they ran a sell and I think I bought like 70 of them. And so I'm still working through those. But they've been awesome and, you know, Easter time, you can sell them to your customers, um, Halloween time. I will try to be more on the ball next year. And All right, you guys. So there's that one. Then we'll do one more. Please, please, if you're watching, please chime in because um, anyone that chimes in and comments, I need to comment so that I know that you were watching, then I will send you a link and you can get these files for free um, to use on your own tote bags or whatever you want. They'd be cute on shirts. There's there's quite a few things they would work well on. So um, if you want that, if you want to have credit for that, or I understand this is, it's hard to find a time that works for everybody. Um, my schedule's a little bit chaotic. I work, like I said, seven on, seven off. And what I find is I'm I'm going to try to do more designing in the evenings. Some, some of those evenings end up being 10 to 12 hour days. Um, and so 
I do a lot of my work on my on my days off. I have seven on seven off. So on those days that I will try to jump on even if we just chat um, to see how you guys are doing, but I will most definitely on my weeks off, we will do a live tutorial at least once a week. Um, if you could please comment, if you're watching live, I learned this from Nikki, that's where I was going with that before the press stopped. Um, if you would comment your name and hashtag live, if you're watching it live, and if you are watching it playback, I am gonna be uploading all of these this evening. Um, I've been working on that today to my YouTube channel. So if you watch back or you watch back on, on Facebook, please comment um, re replay. That would be great. And then I will make sure that you get your that you get your files, get the and I'll just send you a code and the link to the shop, and you can just go in there and use the code and get the files for free. Trying to think what else um, I've seen working in other groups. Do you guys have any ideas that you want to see happen in wall to wall vinyl? Um, my goal is to make this a group that we can all learn. Like I said, um, I certainly don't have all the answers. We're all gonna learn together and that is my goal is having a group that we can all learn. And plus, it has been so fun to get to know so many people from across the world. And so if, so I would just love to get to know you more, know what you do, um, get to know you more as individuals. So that's the goal with the group. Okay, so this one is for my niece. It's cute little Eden. I'll have to see if I can get my, get. I need to get permission from her mama to get, to post a picture and I'll let you see how cute she is. She's been my model a couple times. She is a doll with the prettiest blue eyes you have ever seen. So with this, I'm shooting for, I'm lining up her name because that is the squarest font that I have on this particular design. Thank you, Lindsay, for commenting. I appreciate it very much. Are you staying crazy busy with all of your, um, with all of your orders getting ready for the holidays? Trying to see. Yeah, just let me know. I don't, I, I haven't seen any other totes that are, um, polyester. I had heard a rumor, but I have never used them that there were some at Hobby Lobby, but I never did look into it. So that's something I'm going to have to look into, but these have been really good. Um, so do you have some Lindsay? I'll let you answer and then pop your, um, link in. We're just about down on time with this. So there's side one. And you don't necessarily have to trade out your um, your center paper every time, but you do have to trade out your, particularly if you are pressing, because I'm pressing my back side, so I'm gonna get some transfer from the other side on this press, so make sure that you change your papers in between so that you don't get transfer of ink in places you don't want to. And I am going to remember to do this this time. Make sure you lint roll it. Anything white, I found any shirts, anything like that, you definitely will pick up little lint balls and they will pick up the ink and show every time.
Hi, Shelly. No worries. If you wouldn't mind it just um, doing live with the hashtag, hashtag live, then I'll make sure that you get your files and then I will upload this to YouTube so you can rewatch it. So no worries there. Thank you so much for being here. So I'll hurry and show you, Shelly, some of the things I was showing them. And I don't have the print because I used it. But um, I did, I wanted to try an all over um, bag. So this was my first attempt at that. And um, they sub, these sub beautifully. I got these particular bags from Single J's. Um, I got them quite a bit ago, but I'm sure she still has some. Um, but what I was noticing when I was printing this out, my, my printer had re, reset to the original settings. And, um, oh, thanks, Arlanda. Thank you for joining. And so when I was printing it out, and I wish I had the original print to show you, but um, you hear a lot of times, and I've had it happen on my prints. I'm sure you've had it happen on your prints where you get the lines down it. And that is exactly what happened to mine. It had reset to standard quality, so that prints a lot faster, but you don't get as good of prints. All right, let's go ahead and pull this off and then I'll finish, finish my thought. So, this is bag number two. And then this is that same design. I did want you guys to see some different things you can do. So I do have the full black that I will add to your files. Um, so here's the full black design. And what I was saying is you'll wanna make sure that you slow down your printing. So slow down um, your printing to high quality print. Otherwise you will, um, you will get those lines through. And some of your substrates are forgiving, like the soft ones, like the rugs, are certainly more forgiving than the hard, like the Unisub, you'll see every one of those lines. So slow, slow your print down by turning it to adjusting your settings to high quality. And then um, I did wanna show you, so this is the front. And if you look, there is a difference in the color. So I just used my throwaway, um, but there is, it's a little less bright than it is on the front. And this is the side that I had the print quality set to um, slow. And this is the side that I had it set to fast. And I had lines all the way through. I don't see the lines, but it isn't as vibrant, I don't think. So, so there you go. So this is, so this black one will be one of your files that you can get. Thank you, Shelly. So, very fun. It should be fun for Halloween. And like I said, next year I will be more on the ball. Um, I don't know if any of you were here for the last live I did, but I'd kind of stepped away and so I'm back in full force. And um, so we're gonna really focus on making things consistent and so I will have more next year I'll focus on more bag designs because those do really really well so um, I will get these uploaded and I appreciate all of you that joined plan on Tuesdays the time might adjust just a little bit on the weeks that I'm at work because sometimes I don't get out on time but um, we will always have a live on Tuesdays so thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic night and we'll see you next time.